<sighs> Nothing like fall Bermuda grass. That's pretty good looking stuff there. Don't you love looking at my feet? <laughs> Anyways, guys, we've got a lot of updates to do on fall information for lawn care. I'm going to cover a bunch of different stuff in this video. I'm going to run through it really quick, so hold on one sec. Hey, guys. So the first thing is uh, I'm going to show you the new addition to the family we got last week. It's been several years coming. <laughs> I finally got off my butt and did it. We've got a new shed. I'll show you that. Um, we're going to talk about grubs. I'm going to show you some grub damage. And if you start to see little holes in your yard, and why you should take a morning walk every morning. Take your coffee and just walk the yard real quick. I'm going to show you that video coming up. I'm going to give you an update. I'll take you across the street. There's the Miracle Patch. And then next to the Miracle Patch was sort of a seeding experiment we did. And that area got infested with crabgrass. Well, the last video I put up was um, killing crabgrass. And I'm going to give you an update on that. I figured I'd show that, what it looks like, and a few tips on that. Uh, what else have I got for you? Oh, PGF Complete. Uh, PGF Complete, it was in stock last week and it, every, uh, every single bag sold out and there's another truck that's actually going up there. So it's gonna be back in stock. Uh, we talked to Anderson's and they are gonna be ramping up as much as they can on production wise for it. So hopefully we'll keep it in stock. The real mower giveaway was done. Uh, the first winner actually, uh, Mike emailed him and he said, I don't real mow. You can give it to someone else. We said, okay. So we picked another one. <laughs> and Robert out of Tennessee won it. We've already emailed him. and he's, uh, He contacted Mike back. And uh, so that's done. So we're going to be doing another giveaway. And we're going to start that next week. And I think we're going to give four bags of PGF Complete uh, to three different people. And that'll be a pretty short giveaway. That'll only run for about a week or two. So you want to be involved with that. So anyways, where are we going to start? Uh... This is that time I did a video and you need to watch these fall videos because they answer so many questions. And we talked about that window when we're getting real close to that window. And that window is when temperatures start to get into the 80s. Instead of being 90s every day, no matter where you are, once you start to, start to hit 80s consistently, that's the time that you want to start pushing your lawn again. And you want to have, you want to do the stacking method. And I can't tell you how well stacking works with PGF complete. In other words, you put out a smaller, you put out, put out a dose, wait two or three weeks, put out another dose, wait two or three, keep just stacking it and stacking it because it's a very mild fertilizer, but yet it's complete. So it has all your major nutrients, has all your micronutrients, has iron, has humic acid inside of it and fulvic acid in the form of humic DG. So awesome stuff. So I guess uh, this morning I got up and I did what I call my coffee walk, which is when you go out in the morning, there's dew all over the grass and you can do some CSI crime investigation. So let's go do that first. So I tell people, if you can every morning, just walk your lawn real quick and there's a reason for it. It's because you'll see stuff that you don't see later in the day when the dew is gone. So I came down here and I've already messed it up with my footprints, <clears throat> but I saw a little path. Let me show you. See this little footprint trail here? That's not a deer. I didn't know what it was. And I came out and I saw this patch out here. Now this is a repaired valve over here. I'm trying to think. I don't feel any holes, but it looks like someone was investigating and then walked off. Look at this. I don't know if I talked about this last week or not, but over here I found a bunch of holes in the lawn. And I figured something was probably digging up grubs, and sure enough, see this little trail here? <laughs> it's like a possum. Possibly a possum, but man, look at look at the grub patch he hit here. Now see all these holes right here? See that? About three inches down, he's digging up grubs. Let me show you that. And then he came along here, came along here. <coughs> now mistakenly, what I did on this lawn is I just came out here and I just hand threw some dew aside in the areas that had grubs. I don't think I hit any in here. 
So I'm going to come back and I'm going to hit this lawn again with the double kill product. So signal is to me, time to treat for grubs. Now, a uh, real quick important note on the double kill product. Remember that these products, when you're killing grubs, have to actually reach the grub. So they have to make that transition from the surface down to the grubs. It's a little bit different than army worms. So you have to come out and you have to water it and water it and water it. <laughs> so if you do discover you have grubs, if you see little varmints out in your yard starting to dig up, and especially high concentration of grubs, put out the double kill, always have that stuff in stock. And if it's grubs, water it, water it, water it, water it deep, deep, deep. If it's army worms, all you want to do is just activate it with a little bit of water and that's it. You want it to sort of hang out in that thatch layer. So that's the difference. Um, the nice thing is, is if you do put out the double kill, just wet it a little bit, it's going to kill your ar any army worms you have, but then over time it'll work down later, and later it'll kill the grubs. So it, that's one of the beautiful things about that product. Again, there's a link. I'll put a link in the description below to a web page where this stuff is listed where you can get it. Okay guys, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk across the street and I'm going to show you this crabgrass, the update on that spraying I did. But here's an important note I forgot to mention. After you spray crabgrass, obviously you want to spray, do the spray I told you about. And you want to do that at a point where there's not going to be any rain for a couple days. But what I like to do is spray it, leave it for a day or two and then come back and just mist it just a little bit. It sort of reactivates the chemicals. And remember, foliar transfer only happens really when something is wet, in a wet state. So what I like to do, spray it and it'll dry on there, come back and mist it a little bit the next day, mist it a little bit the next day, and you're really pumping it into the foliage and then eventually transferring it down to the roots because a certain percentage happens via foliar, a certain percentage happens via the root. But I'm going to show you that most of the Bermuda grass is fine over here, but the crab grass is dying off. That's important. Okay, so here's this patch. Here's the line. This is the miracle patch. This is all stacked with PGF. This has had four treatments over the past three months of PGF complete. It was all weeds. Now it's perfect Bermuda. Then we took this area that was almost 100% weeds and we killed it off and we did a little bit of planting but there's a bunch of crabgrass in here that got infested with it. A little squirrel. <laughs> so the majority of it is good but you can see that some of the crabgrass is starting to die off here. But you look at the Bermuda next to it, Bermuda's fine, crabgrass is dying. You can sort of see that from this picture here. The yellow is the crabgrass, the green is the Bermuda. And you can see that basically everywhere we go. And there's actually green Bermuda inside the crabgrass still sprouting up. But some of the infested areas, like look back over here, see it? See how badly that got infested over here? Now that crabgrass will all die off and the Bermuda will take over. It's the same thing we've done time and time again. Again, there's a video on this. So again, really good results. Um, all the crabgrass is dying off, the Bermuda looks fine, and this is the only time I can do this. You have a very small window to put a negative down because we wanna focus on positives, positives over the next few weeks. We wanna be stacking PGF complete, stacking PGF complete, a little bit of super juice every two weeks or so and you're good to go. Now I put, I'm starting to, uh, whenever I spray anything negative, I'm mixing it in with my super juice because the super juice has that healing effect on it as well too. Sea kelp, humic, bunch of different stuff. So just a quick note for those that are uh, interested in the giveaways that we do, all you have to do is be a subscriber. So click the subscribe button. And the other thing is, is you go over to the website and you look up for the email alerts, just sign up for the email alerts. It's not a marketing system, we don't sell the list. All that does is it just notifies you whenever I post something. So if I post a video, if I post an article, you'll just get an email that says, hey, the idiot doc has posted something again. That's all it's for. But we use that system because it's a random number generator that we can use with it. Uh, and that's it. And then you're registered for all the giveaways. Hey guys, so let me just kind of real quick walk you through this shed thing. I'm going to do a full video on this for you guys because 
I've been talking about it for three years and the wife finally said, will you please stop talking about it? Just go online, order it. You don't have time to build this thing yourself. So I said, fine, that's what I did. I wanted something a little bit different. I wanted to customize it, upgrade it a little bit. So it has a tin roof, has large sliding windows, has flower boxes, big doors, six foot wide open doors. Um, it's uh, one of those things you go online, you custom configure it with a tin roof, o large overhangs, all kinds of stuff. But I didn't have time. This was a full day build. Even though this thing's constructed at the factory, uh, it's constructed, painted, everything at the factory, and then they bring it out in sections, and they build it on your site. It was a full day project, because, especially because of the heat. It was a scorcher. Poor crew that came out here. They were really good, by the way. The crew was excellent that came out here. Um, attention to detail was excellent. It, like they get they paint it at the factory but then after it's all finished they go back and repaint the whole thing again i was really impressed with it and i'll do a full video on it well, let me just sort of walk you through i basically came out here and i didn't want a building up on blocks so what i did was i built a foundation and i built it out of crushed gravel all the way around they laid the frame it has a metal frame down below then they come out and they build it section by section by section. And they build up the sides, they put up the windows, they put on the roof, they do the full finishing of it. So it was, um, I'll call it a quick process, but man, if I had to do this thing myself, I would have been out here all week long in this heat. No way I'm doing that. Let me just throw the doors open and show you what I've done so far in it. I'll go ahead, I'm gonna put up a full video of it later on when I have time. Maybe next month I'll put up the full video on it. So we've got this ugly, we've always had this ugly area over here. I'm gonna custom build an enclosure for the pool pump area that's back here. And then I'm gonna come in here and configure this next month. Right now it's just pretty much bare. But I do have, I just threw up, threw up a little light in here. So basically what I can do is I put a little work table in here. I got some of the stuff. I can hang my spreaders, I can hang my tools. The John Deere fits in here with the full bagging. I'm actually gonna come over here and put a little wash sink in over here. I'll probably come up here and put a loft in over here, but it is, you can see, I mean, we've got aluminum, alum, pressed aluminum uh, siding on the top. We've got full house wrap on it. Uh, nicely baked on finished floors. So, and nice sliding windows. Sliding windows with screens. So uh, overall, I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, the overall construction of it, the build of it, the way it was delivered, the whole process was pretty good. So yesterday I came out here and I wasn't sure how this was gonna work and how I was gonna build it, but that's the ramp I made and it works perfect. Absolutely perfect. But what we really wanted is we wanted something that was nice looking that would tie into the pool area kind of have a little pool house look to it so that when you look back it sort of draws your eye back here um, something very substantial and kind of cool looking and like i said that ugly fence area over there next to the roses we're going to take that down i'm going to re-landscape that and uh make it look kind of cool all right, so here's a funny note. I'm in the middle of editing this video, actually, and I said, you know what? We're gonna have thunderstorms probably later today or later this evening. I need to get that duo side out across the street, the bug killer. The wonderful thing about using the weather, especially for this kind of stuff, is it's really hard to put down enough water to get this double kill product down to the grubs. I mean, you really gotta put a lot of water. So. A great time to treat it if you're treating for grubs now not army worms grubs you have to move it real really really down deep army worms you don't so I'm actually gonna run back to the shed brand new shed and let's see here let's pick our let's pick our poison uh, you know what I'm gonna use the small spreader because it's got an edge guard For those of you who have never seen the double kill, that is what the double kill looks like right there. So it's in the DG form and these tiny particles, what they do is as soon as water touches them, they basically explode. 
and it's a very very quick delivery system it's a wonderful wonderful system one of the reasons why I'm using this one is it does have an edge guard on it it does have an edge guard on it so I want to really concentrate I got a lot of damage over here on this side so I'm gonna put a lot of it down over here Just a couple quick notes to remember about this product. When you put it down for grubs, you're gonna put it down pretty heavy. There's a rate for grubs and a rate for other insects. The other thing to remember is grubs are deep. Grubs are typically two inches to four inches deep, so you need to put a lot of water to get this down to reach the grubs. It's not a matter of one simple sprinkler run. You have to put a lot of water to get it down. It is great. If you're gonna have a rain come in, that's a great time to put this product down. That rain will push it really deep. So there you go. Five, 10 minutes and I've cured my grub problem for the fall. That's it, done. Oh, it's pretty simple. You just gotta put it out. And a lot of people are gonna ask, Doc, why you, uh, why you bother and spraying that lawn over there that's not yours or treating that lawn that's not yours. I got a lot of time invested in that. <laughs> Of time and a lot of work that was a complete redo that we did and uh, it was all weeds now it's all Bermuda I don't want to see all my all my hard work go down the stomach of some grubs get out and treat it it's quick it's easy hey guys so just a couple quick important tips to end this number one use your 10-day forecast I can't stress that enough I pull up my 10-day forecast every single day and I look at it and I try and coordinate what products I need to put out, where I'm gonna put them out. If uh, I have a grub problem, I'm gonna put out the double kill. If I see rainstorm coming in, like I've got two days, I know I'm gonna have a thunderstorm come in over the next two days, perfect time for that. PGF complete, put it down. Just coordinate your weather patterns with what you're putting out. The other thing is, I've warned everyone time and time and time again, Fall is the time when products are gonna be hard to get and they're gonna run out of stock. So do your best to think ahead, plan two or three months ahead and order what you need. If you see PGF complete in stock, you know you're gonna need a total of four bags. Well, don't just order two, order the four because it's gonna keep selling out and selling out. Oh, we're gonna be fighting that all fall. Same thing with the duo side, uh, the double kill product for grubs and army worms. Have that stuff in stock. Um, that's about it, guys. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up, and uh, i got a couple more videos to put up, so I'll talk to you later. Doc.